Hey guys, Dykandris here again with another action figure review. Now this is something I picked up recently. Um, as far as I know, they're new for this year, which is new as part of the Core Elite line, and it is the Griffin Aerial Assault Craft. Uh, now it's an electronic um, kind of active uh, lights and sounds um, vehicle. So before I get onto the vehicle and the figure that came packed with it, I'll just do a little brief on brief uh, write up or read up on the box so it comes in this open style box uh, the vehicle sits basically across here and then you have a small section which was here where sorry you can't see that um, you have a small section here which is where the figure was pegged into he's kind of attached here which is the smoke figure um, there's no nothing different to him from the original standard one uh, I can't really see that on camera too well, so let me just pull it up a bit. So you can see it's a big window, open window style box. And then if I flip around to the back of the box, it just has a picture of the core versus the curse. And then it just has uh, spinning rotors and cockpit, adjust wings for flight, um, rotate, or was it lights and sound, free rotating wings. And then it has a little bright brief right up at the bottom here. I'll see if I can bring it up close. If not, I'll just pause it on. Sorry for the camera jer jerkiness. But it has... Uh, the tech wars have begun. The darkness grows stronger. The new cursed facilities are spreading like bacteria from dark corners of the globe, affecting the world. The cursed nanomachine AI is taking hold, feeding on its hosts, enhancing itself uh, more... As more dark villains join the ranks, all is not lost. With courage, bravery, persistence, the light grows brighter, washing out the darkness. Now globally trained and ready to fight the core, brave new recruits from around the world join together to stamp out any cursed, poison spreading strongholds. Uh, in a high strategic secret raid, on a small core team infiltrates the belly of Plague's central laboratory and acquires the dark heart serum and lays waste to the nefarious factory in the process. Now the core have the upper hand as they attempt to deconstruct the abomination plague has created and hopefully find a cure. Although the curse have been dealt a huge blow, they are no means defeated and are more dangerous now than ever. The battle between good and evil has intensified which with the world hanging in the balance. Which side are you on? And then has the corehq.com is the website to figure out, learn more from. So, all that aside, box out of the way. On to the f f um, vehicle itself. So, as I said, comes with this pack-in figure, which is smoke from the new line of, or new wave of figures, and the way they're new design figures. Uh, he comes with the exact same accessories as the standard one does. But I'll show him in the cockpit in a minute. What people are more interested in is more than likely the vehicle itself. So you have this really cool vehicle. As it says, it has spinning rotors and you can adjust the tilt on them. Which is quite cool. You go up and down. And you also have in a neutral position you have these removable clip-on rockets you got four in total so you got two on either side two here two there and then you got the working landing gear which is really nice so you have a full working landing gear you can bring these back put it down Ooh. it does have an opening po cockpit which is quite nicely sculpted. Uh, the only thing is he can't really hold his put his weapon on his back while in there. He can't hold it. There's little sculpted on joystick controls for him to hold on to. But he fits in quite nicely into the cockpit. And then for the lights and gimmick signs. Now the batteries go in here. I haven't opened them up to see which sort of batteries they, it takes. But I'm sure it says it on the box somewhere. So for the lights and sounds you got... One. And that one. Uh, 
so you got two lights, you got a red light up here and a blue light down here. So all in all, it's quite a nice little jet. And just for a comparison, here is El Jefe, one of the other new figures. He should be able to fish in there if they can all fish. It might be a little bit squishy. Uh, you want, but you could probably need to manipulate his arms a bit. He's a bit chunkier than. Uh, yeah, he does fish quite nicely. I'm not sure if you saw that, but he, El Jefe, he's a bit of a chunkier figure. He can fit in there easily enough. And then, just for a comparison, if, oops, not the camera. Just for a comparison, if I have one, uh, basic Cobra from the Rise of Cobra line. He fits in there quite nicely too. So you can get GI Joe figures into the cockpit too. I could easily see people doing this a repaint of it red and use Cobra logos on it for a repainted version of the Firebat. It looks like it would be a really cool custom vehicle or even customizing the hell out of it and using it for a Cobra or a GI Joe itself. So all in all it's a really good uh, vehicle. Price point isn't too expensive as well. Um, over here I think there were 14, 14 euros. I'm not sure what that would translate to in dollars for the US market but it is quite a good price uh, for the small vehicle that it is. And as I said, it's a really nice jet, or a VTOL style jet, or aerial craft as it's called, the Griffin Aerial Craft. So, really good vehicle, um, do recommend picking it up if you can. So, if you, as I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel, and I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Cheers.